my art is a way of, in some ways, speaking for those that don't have human tongues, in terms of policy, in terms of stewardship, in terms of volunteer engagement. Art illuminates science. The fate of this planet is firmly in our hands right now. And so if, if you can move humans, you can move the world. So I'm Duncan Berry, uh, and I live at the epicenter of the Cascade Head Biosphere Reserve on the Central Oregon coast. This is very much home, this whole palette and weather and wildlife and way of life is very big here. I started out life as an artist, um, my first 15 years making a living, and now in my last, I don't know what I have left, 20 or 30 years, I'm going back into the studio. So gyo means fish, and then taku is an impression of that fish, right? It also applies to anything in the sea. I also do a lot of land printing. That's called nature printing, and it comes sort of out of the botanical tradition of Europe. It's a documentary. It's not a feature film. It's like, this is an exact, like to the micron, representation of something in nature. The Gyotaku, which really started uh, middle to late 18th century in Japan. One of the origin stories of Gyotaku is this a scribe who got tired of uh, sumi ink on, on paper with kanji and put it on the fish. And to this day, Japan is thought of as a um, sort of a folk art. And it's found a lot in fishmonger shops. But you go into a fishmonger shop and it's like, wow. And there's all these you know, beautiful pieces of graphic art on the wall. It is so accessible. It's so easy to do. The most difficult part is preparing the press, if you will. It's taking the creature itself, octopus, fish, whatever it might be, and posing it and preparing it so that it looks natural. Basically, after that, ink the surface. I use uh, Gamblin ink. I roller it on, you can tampo it on, and then you basically take a piece of paper, uh, apply it, and then are very careful how you use these little devices that we call <laughs> fingertips uh, by patting, rubbing, pressing, um, and then you try to maintain just the dorsal nature of something. And then I, I do about 50% of my art is my illustration in collaboration to bring them alive. I guess it's just like connecting people back to felt emotional connection so that they will fall in love and then they'll care and then they'll have a relationship. After that, it's all good. You can't care for something you don't know. So know it deeply, come to care for it, and uh, I guarantee you fall in love.